1975 and Energy Minister Tony Benn makes his first visit offshore to see the process that will bolster the UK's economy. It is this that makes the prospects for the future look so different. But while BP were glad-handing the minister, he was making plans to strip them of all their North Sea interests and hand them to the newly emerging National Oil Corporation. For some time it was more a paper company than a real company, so uh, he had quite uh, radical ideas, uh, the most radical of which was uh, uh, to take over all of BP's uh, North Sea assets. That didn't happen. It was too expensive and Prime Minister Harold Wilson thought it took nationalisation too far. Well, that is the bottle of North Sea oil. Tony Benn stands by his ambitions and says he was perfectly open about them with the oil industry. Well, if we'd been able to do that, it would have meant more money would have come to us, greater control of the oil, because depletion was very important. We were very anxious to see that the oil wasn't depleted so rapidly that you were left with uh, empty fields. Hello, Scottish National Party. In the 1974 elections, nationalism was peaking, the SNP riding high on a campaign that it was Scotland's oil. The official history also reveals that the economic benefits of oil were being actively downplayed by the government as a move to suppress the nationalist movement. Kevin Keane reporting Scotland, Aberdeen.